not look like Oompa Loompas. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Vasiliki and in this video we're going to test together a new foundation by Maybelline. And this is a super stay multi-use foundation stick. You can find this foundation in 16 shades and I got mine in the shade 25 Classic Nude. In the American website you can see that there are available 16 shades and in the German one I found that there are 8 shades and also the names of the shades are different. They claim that you can use this foundation stick as a contouring product also to highlight your face as a foundation and also as a concealer you need three shades if you want to use it to highlight contour and also for foundation i only have one shade so i'm going to use it as a foundation and as a concealer the price of it is 9 euros and 95 cents and we get 12 grams of product on one side of the foundation we have a sponge that it is glued into the packaging i don't know if it will be practical for me to wash the sponge but i will try it and see if it blends the foundation easy on my skin on the other side we get the product it is twistable and this is is the amount of product that we are getting as always i will do a wear test so we can see if the foundation is long lasting and also if it works for my dry and sensitive skin let me know in the comments if you like foundation sticks and if you have a favorite one i don't usually use foundation sticks because the consistency is thicker and it is more difficult for me to blend it on my dry skin i have swatched this one in the drugstore and it was very creamy so so I am very very curious to see if it will work for me today. Share this video with a friend that is looking for a new foundation. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell to get notified for all my latest videos. And without further ado, let's get started with the review. For primer, I will use the Prime and Fine Pore Fining Anti Shine Base. I haven't seen any difference with the pore fining effect, but I like this one because it is long lasting and it doesn't irritate my skin. So let's start with the foundation and it doesn't have any scent. On half of my face, I will use the sponge that we have. And on the other side, I will use a brush. This is a flat synthetic brush by Sigma. And I want to see if it is easy blendable with a sponge and a brush. I will apply it upwards so I don't stretch my skin. Okay, so now I'm going to use the sponge that we get. Okay, I think it doesn't work. It removes the product from my face. And I think I had a lot of product. So this is not very practical because it is small and not very easy to hold on your hands. I think the reason that it is so small is because they also want you to use this one for contouring and this will work very nice for contouring or highlighting your face. So I'm going to apply a little bit more and on this side I will blend it with a brush. I can blend the product with a brush very easy but I don't like that it's not looking very natural on my skin because I think I need to press the product into my pores. I don't like it how it looks in this area. It doesn't look smooth and blended. I want to build the coverage with a damp sponge that I have and see if I can make it look more natural on my skin. I will use just a small amount of the product with a synthetic brush under my eyes to see if it can conceal my under eye area. It has nice coverage but I think the consistency is not ideal for my eyes because my skin is very dry. I will apply some more on this area that I have a pimple. It's not as visible as before. You can see that I have something, but I think the coverage is very nice. About the coverage, it covered my veins, my discoloration, my pimples that I had today, and also my under eye area. The finish is 
semi matte it's not completely matte and it's not very sticky most likely i will not need a lot of powder to set this foundation i think the best way to apply and build this foundation is with a damp sponge and i also didn't like it with this specific brush maybe with a buffer brush you will have a more natural finish but with this type i didn't like it let's see the consistency how it feels it is like silicone it's not very thick it is very creamy and a little bit slippery so that's why it was easy for me to blend it on my skin it doesn't feel heavy on my skin and it is very comfortable i don't feel that i have something on my skin we can see that it is creasing a little bit on my final lines also on my under eye area and a little bit on my smile lines if you have fine lines that's what happens guys and i will blend it first and then apply my powder so we will see if it will crease again after powder it's not oxidizing this is the foundation in the beginning of my application and i applied some more now and we can see it is the same color so it didn't oxidize and i like that because we are going to have the shade that we see and not something darker we will not look like oompa loompas and on top of it i will apply fit me concealer by maybelline in the shade 10 to set my foundation i'm going to use fixing powder by art deco cosmetics Hi guys, it's been 9 hours and let's see what happened with the foundation. As we can see, I am very shiny. It looks like greasy. So on this pimple that I have here, the foundation is clinging around it. I don't like how the foundation looks on this area here, on my enlarged pores. And also on my forehead, on the T-zone, it looks very greasy. And you can see all of my pores. My pores look exaggerated and uh, I don't like that. On my forehead, as you can see, See the foundation creased i am oily all over my skin except this area here that most of the times i am not but on this area and especially on my nose my nose is very oily it is comfortable on my skin i don't feel that i have a heavy foundation on my skin but i don't like how it looks with some blotting paper or a tissue i am guessing that i can touch up very easy on this area here my foundation looks like it is patchy and it's not very smooth anymore i liked that i didn't need a lot of powder to set my foundation but i don't like that i am so glowy and also i have dry skin i don't know how this will look on someone with oily skin and also i have used a mattifying primer that most of the times i don't look like this i will just lightly tap it on my skin to remove the shine and a little bit of the foundation so you can very easily remove the shine with just the tissue if you have blotting papers you can also use these on this area here it still looks like my foundation it is in my pores but it's not very smooth it looks like very very small dots i want to use it again and maybe apply a little less product maybe today i have applied more for my eyes i have done a full makeup look i will have a cut here if you want to watch that video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you have tried this foundation stick by maybelline and if you like it if you want to learn more about makeup and also see some more videos from me don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye